Hello, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Grammarly in Apple Mac Safari browser, and then how we can use the extension to fix up spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes in popular websites such as Facebook and YouTube. Okay, let's get started. Here we are in Safari, and to install an extension, we need to click on Safari in the menu and choose Safari extensions. This actually opens the Mac App Store, which is where Apple keeps Safari's extensions. If you see this pop-up window, when the App Store opens, you should see the Grammarly extension in the list here. Since I've previously installed it, I get this icon, but you'll see a button labeled Get. If the pop-up window doesn't appear when the App Store opens, don't worry, you can find the Grammarly extension by using the search bar. Simply click on the button to begin the download and installation process. Having clicked open, we're then prompted to grant Grammarly permission to access data on the sites we visit. You need to decide whether you're happy to enable this permission. However, Grammarly will not function correctly as an extension unless this permission is enabled. Ticking the box completes the installation process and the Grammarly icon appears to the left of the search bar in Safari. Clicking the icon gives you the option to either sign up for a new account or alternatively, if you already have a Grammarly account, you can click Login. I'll click on Sign Up and I'm prompted to enter an email address, password and username. Grammarly then asks us three questions to identify how we intend to use the app. I plan to use the app mainly for work and to improve my spelling and grammar. And I'll skip the last question by clicking not sure and hit continue. We then ask whether we wish to sign up and subscribe to Grammarly Premium or continue with creating a free account. I'm only interested in using the free version of Grammarly, so I'll click continue to Grammarly. And here's confirmation that Grammarly is now active in Safari. If we click on the icon again, we now have the option to go to the Grammarly homepage, which is where we'll find any documents we previously created and we can choose to create a new document. Clicking on new document will open the Grammarly editor where we can add a title and start typing. It's not necessary to go to the home page each time to create a new document. We can simply choose new document straight from the icon menu. Now let's look at how we can use Grammarly on some popular websites. I'll start by going into Facebook and writing a quick message to my friend Wilson. You'll notice the little green dot to the right of the text and Grammarly has detected an issue with the words, Hey Wilson, which is underlined in red. Simply click on each word to correct the spelling and punctuation errors. Hovering the cursor over the green dot activates the Grammarly pop-up box, which can also be used to correct your grammar. Now we'll do a similar thing in YouTube. I'll open this video and add a comment. As before, you'll see the little green Grammarly dot. I'll click on the dot to open the Grammarly pop-up window and correct my spelling. And that's it. That is how to install and use Grammarly in Apple Mac's Safari browser. That's it. I hope you found this video useful. For more tips like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and you can check out my blog, facultyofapps.com. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.